This video will cover the installation of the tough track and similar style drive axle brackets and sensors. Prior to setting up to install the drive bracket, ensure that you install the alignment jack. Ensure the alignment pin of the bracket mounting jig is touching the T-Ride bracket. Tighten the supplied bolt to the jig assembly securely using a wrench. Ensure all edges are parallel and at the same height. Ensure that there is a gap of an eighth of an inch between the bracket and the U-bolt. Hold the bracket assembly firmly on the suspension and mark the area inside the two large holes with a permanent marker. Remove the T-Ride bracket assembly and set it aside. Using a sander or grinder with 40 grit sandpaper, clean a wide area around the marked area so that only bare metal is visible. Using C-clamps, secure the T-Ride bracket assembly to the T-Ride suspension. Using a MIG or arc welder, tack weld the two large holes, top, bottom, left, and right. Then plug weld the circumference of the two large holes in the T-Ride bracket assemblies only. Once the welds are completely cooled, remove the clamps. Remove the two bolts from the T-Ride bracket assembly and remove the assembly jig. Ensure when installing the deflection sensor that the engraved lettering is pointing towards the sky. Install the deflection sensor into the bracket with the cable exiting toward the center of the axle. Place the bolts through the holes in the sensor bracket to secure the deflection sensor. Place the two nuts on the bolts. Hand tighten each nut and bolt assembly. Begin tightening both of the nuts using a torque wrench to 60 foot-pounds. Verify that your sensor is displaying properly by checking the AD readings in the cab or on your test box. To navigate to the AD screen, for load max scale displays, press the escape button until the view weights flashes. Arrow down to setup and press enter. Arrow down to diagnostics and press enter. Arrow down to comlinks and press enter. Select AD readings and press enter. Select Axle Group and press Enter. To adjust your AD values, apply either upward or downward pressure to the plastic nut at the end of the sensor using only your fingers. When the AD values are between 750 to 1250, maintain pressure while torquing to 60 foot-pounds. When you've completed the initial torque, if your values remain between 750 and 1250, finish torquing to 120 foot-pounds. After setting the AD values on your sensor, the sensor will require a break-in period that can last up to two weeks of regular use before calibration. Route the 40-foot drive extension cable along its respective axle and the frame and through the cab firewall. Leave enough length for sensor connections. If at all possible, route along an existing wire harness. Secure the cables loosely to the suspension using zip ties. Keep all cables a minimum of a foot from exhaust piping or properly shield the cables. Using enamel spray paint, paint all welded and sanded areas to prevent oxidization.